A couple of months ago, a dear friend and fighting company commander of mine approached me with a couple of pictures of an interesting type of Waffenrock. If you don't know, these are a type of outer garment worn in the medieval and renaissance era, the term later referring to German military uniforms. This specific one is based on a painting called The Mass at Bolsena by Raphael from 1512, which features a uniquely checkered look. You may notice here that I am not us using the usual tools for drafting. At least, I don't know of any other people who would use a colored pencil box and a piece of paper to draft a pattern. Do not do what I'm doing here. I was desperate as my yardstick had warped and moving. It is a total miracle that that mock-up fit my commander when I fit up. I'm using a modified version of the Tudor Taylor's Henry Shins men's gown as the basis for this Waffenrock, and I'm just giving you a better look because I have no tripod as to how exactly I'm scaling this up with each square of the pattern corresponding to one inch on my paper. Once my muslin is ironed, I'm marking out my pattern pieces with half an inch of seam allowance so while fitting I don't have to worry about having too little fabric and adding in extra pieces. Now that I've ensured that the garment fits on its intended wearer, I've marked 3 inch panels on the mock-up pieces so that way I can ensure that every checkered panel is even. And it also just looks a little bit better if everything's parallel. And now that the mock-up is done, and I know it works, I can finally cut into this beautiful wool that I got from England. Due to the presence of all of these panels, I only have been cutting out one section of the bodice at, the, at one point. So once all the back is constructed, I can finally go and cut out the front pieces. And Her Majesty of the Void decided she really wanted to be a part of this video. <laughs> 
so I guess you get her tail. Now that the bodice is constructed, I am now ironing the seams as open and as flat as the wool will allow me. That way it will just make the felling process easier. Thus began a two week process of felling all of these seams by hand, which I managed to cut down into a little less than 30 seconds for you guys. majority of the bodice dealt with and about a week before my deadline, I finally went out and cut the pieces of the skirt. This is not the skirt pattern used in the Tudor Tailor, instead, after a lot of staring at the skirt in question, I decided that it wasn't pleated at the waist at all. Instead, all of the panels were basically wider versions of pieces from a circle skirt, and as a as such, I'm treating it like that, and so all of the panels look like they're cut out from a circle, just a little bit wider than a normal 12th uh, of the circle would be. So this is the point in the process where I got a tripod, so you might actually get coherent angles for once. <laughs> together, the most important thing I had to do was try to make sure that the seams on the body of this will match up with the body of the skirt, which is why I pinned while pinning to the bodice, and I'll now remove the skirt so that I can sew it together. This work also helps if you have a little fuzzball who will just come and interrupt you when you've been working for hours. Just so you remind yourself to get a little human interaction, or feline, or just remind yourself to take a break. the breast flap essentially for the Waffen Rock and what I've done is I've traced out the curve of the bodice and then I traced out the different sections that will be going into it and I've got it layered on top of both layers for this. Now because it has to overlap I'm instead of 
using a normal half inch allowance, I'm using a full inch so that I have, well, full inch on the sides and then I will be able to fold that under so that it will properly overlap and I'll be able to point it to the waffle rack. sitting at work doing this. No students are in the room currently, so it's all good. And, as hidden stitching as I can humanly do. Pounce! You know what time it is? It's almost midnight. And I have to finish this by Thursday. Luckily, I've only got five more of the panels to do, and then it's getting the lining sewn out into the bodice, and then the bodice finally fully filled. There is a lot of work that still needs to be done, but that is why I am working in the wee hours of the day. I've got Netflix going, and a little kitten to keep me safe and warm. I love you. But yeah. I can't film all of this, but wish me luck. Well, it's two in the morning and I've got the hem pretty much done. I'm doing a little bit I just work in filling these before I finish the hem and then it's getting this tacked down and then these edges I think I can do this but it's 2 in the morning so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to sleep After that near all-nighter, I packed up all of my things and hopped in the car for a four-hour trip out to Holmesdale, Texas for the event that this is for. And I'm in the car sewing. Yeah, I shot probably could have pushed back the deadline, but it was a long drive. The good news is, I did get it done in time, and after testing the fit one more time, I sewed the closure in. And here's the final result.
not a picture, it's a video. Yeah. Excuse me. 